subscribe to this channel. Hi, my name is William Sonda from Lusaka, Zambia, and you are listening to the Underestimated Voices podcast. Welcome to the Underestimated Voices podcast, where we amplify the unheard and empower the underestimated. Join us as we unveil inspiring stories, shed light on critical issues, and give these voices the platform they truly deserve. It's time to let their brilliance shine. Welcome to the Underestimated Voices podcast. Thank you so much for joining us once again on another transformative episode. Before I go deep into today's episode, I just want to pass my appreciation to APVA for featuring one of our episodes on their newsletter. Thank you so much. It's encouraging to us, and thank you for your support. Thank you for the love. May God bless you. In today's episode, it's a continuation from um, the previous episode where I spoke about rising from shadows, how you can be able to identify and handle underestimation, kusuliwa. And today I'm going to talk about how you can be able to find the blessing that is wrapped around life challenges in line with underestimation, kusuliwa. So we are going to uncover the unexpected treasures in life's challenges. We'll dive into a topic that flips the script of doubt and underestimation. What if I told you right now that where you are being underestimated could be your greatest advantage? Join me as we explore how this seemingly negative perception can sparkle incredible growth and lead to unexpected success. Mundwanga. Get ready for a journey that transforms doubt into determination. I'm going to share my personal story. I remember I was um, 21 when I decided to be a digital content producer. Growing up, I had um, a love of uh, documenting things. And from that, I developed a passion for storytelling through video. However, most people, family, my friends saw videography as a hobby. I know I said a digital content producer, but to break it down, there's a lot that is involved into content production. So I told them, okay, I want to be a videographer for them to understand. They underestimated my talent and potential, often telling me to pursue something more practical. The way my cousins were going to law school, Bible school, you know, all these happening careers, but I decided to venture into videography. Despite the criticism, I decided to invest my time and energy into my passion. I started by filming events, weddings, community gatherings, but even as I gained experience, the underestimation continued. Friends and family would often tell me, you should have a backup plan. It's just a phase. You grow out of it. But when life hits you, you will see. You will quit this sin. You are still young. You will quit this sin. At first, the constant underestimation weighed heavily on me. Truth be told, I was uh, questioning my path and I felt discouraged. But here's where the story takes a turn. Instead of uh, letting the doubts of others define me, I used their criticism as fuel. I began to perfect my craft, pushing myself to learn new techniques and exploring different ways of videography. That's where like YouTube comes in, where you spend time browsing and learning new things. So I started to share my works on social media, showcasing different things that I've uh, shot Slowly but surely, people began to take notice. My unique perspective and dedication resonated with the viewers, and I gained a good following. 
what was once seen as a hobby transformed into something that helps me to put bread and butter on my table for the past almost 15 years plus now. So my story is a testament to the power of turning underestimation into motivation. Instead of feeling defeated, I embrace the challenge. So, Muntuang, why? Okay, honestly, why should we consider underestimation a blessing in disguise? Why? Ask yourself that question. Okay, Nanga, why? So, here's why. Number one, it gives you room for growth. When people underestimate you, Bantuaga Kusula, they often overlook your potential. One, eh? This gives you the freedom to work without the pressure of expectations. Kairi, you know that, okay, Bantu, so why should I be under pressure? So you work at your own time, you perfect things that you're doing. And when we go back to my story, I was able to experiment and evolve my style without the weight of others' opinion. Kind of me, I knew that Bantu So even if I try this, I fail. I try that, I fail. You know, those failures were the learning stages for me. And I knew that even if I fail, people would say, we told you. But in my own life, I knew that all this, I am growing, I am learning new things. Number two is this. Kusuli wakwao, their underestimation should be fuel for determination. Being underestimated can ignite a fire within you. It can be a powerful motivator to prove not just others wrong, but also to prove to yourself what you are capable of. In I was surprised. I turned criticism into a driving force, pushing me to excel. Things that I have achieved as a videographer. Sometimes I even feel like, okay, I've been to places that my pocket can't even take me there. So this leads me to my third point. Authentic journey. Underestimation allows you to curve out your own path. Build your own path. Just because everyone is taking the highway doesn't mean that you should also take the highway. Sometimes take the filter lane. You are not confined to other people's perceptions of uh, success. My story was authentic and I stayed true to my vision, leading me to discover my unique voice and skill. In videography. The fourth thing is this facing doubt and criticism builds resilience. I learned to handle rejection and setbacks, which ultimately made me stronger and more adaptable in my career. You know, they say that what can't kill you makes you stronger. That's my story. Kusuri wa can't kill me, it just makes me stronger by the day. So, how can you begin to see the disguised blessing in our own experiences of underestimation? I'll just share a few with you so that you should be able to understand and see the disguised blessing, the hidden blessing. Number one, reflect on your journey. Hondoang. Take time to think about the moments when you felt underestimated. Time to be. Ima figure by one kaza be pans. You look at and where you are, and then you go like, oh, if I gave up by that time, maybe I wouldn't have been here. Maybe I wouldn't have achieved A, B, C, D. What did you learn from those experiences? How did they shape your path? These are things that you need to look at. Number two, seek feedback. Engage with people who believe in you and can provide constructive feedback. This can help you grow. Well, also reinforcing your confidence. The third thing is this. Focus on your own aspirations rather than opinion of others. Create a vision for your future that is unique, uniquely yours. You know that they say that even twins, they are not even that 100% identical. But again, since our minds have been fed that twins are always the same. Twins are never the same. So we all have our own path. We all have our own vision and dreams. So just because you fit in in a place, it doesn't mean that you belong there. Create your own path, Montuanga, and grow from there. 
celebrate small wins. This is so important. Acknowledge your progress, no matter how small. Each step forward is a testament to your resilience and determination. When you become resilient in times of challenges, you will see the greatness of God. Embrace underestimation. Let it inspire you and watch it as it transforms your journey. So as I conclude, I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Underestimated Voices podcast. If you learned something from this story and you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts with us. Until next time, remember, sometimes the best opportunities are hidden in plain sight. As I always say, be you, do you, and mind your own business. It doesn't hurt, Mutuang. Naka, nika face, che. May God bless you and may God strengthen you. See you on the next episode. This has been your host, Wetsen. Be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to the Underestimated Voices podcast, where a single voice can ignite a resolution. Keep listening, sharing, and amplifying these underestimated voices. Together, let's create a symphony of stories that resonates across the globe. Stay inspired, stay curious, and join us next time for more incredible narratives. Until then, keep listening and let your voice be heard.